Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. This video tutorial, we're going to cover how to verify your website property with Google Sites. To do that, we're going to use Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So this will help you to publish your website and it will help your website to be indexed by search engines like Google because through Google Search Console we can submit um, the property, submit URLs for indexing. And so, you know, if your goal is to launch your website using a sites.google.com address and not through a custom domain, this is certainly an option. So we're going to cover um, the instructions for using uh, three tools, Google Sites, Google Search Console, and Google Analytics, roughly in that order. So if we start here, we've you know, prepared our website for launch. Uh, you know, go ahead and hit that publish button another time and check your publish settings. So here on public publish settings, uh, perhaps you've already assigned it a web address like the one here. This is a unique web address uh, for accessing your site. So if, it, if one is already taken, then you will have to choose another unique ID or an extension as a directory uh, here. Check your search settings to allow search engines to display, index your site, if that is uh, your intent. Go ahead and cancel out of that. So another way to quickly grab that URL is to go here at the top to copy, publish, site link, and hit copy link. So once we have that link in our clipboard and we're ready to go, the site is published, it's shared uh, publicly, so that's good too. Uh, let's go to Google Search Console now. Let me back up a moment to show you know the landing page that you might be greeted with uh, here on Google Search Console. So we hit start now. Um, perhaps you might land on the next screen, which is a specific property you have in Google uh, Search Console, or you can go here on this drop-down menu to add a new property, which is what we're doing now. So based on your account and whether you're logged in and ha already have properties, you may land uh, directly on this screen, for example. So we're going to use the right side, which is the URL prefix. We're going to go ahead and delete out the specific page uh, that we were on, like the home page there. And so you're left with this base sites.google.com URL. So this is the URL, URL that we want to submit to Google uh, that we want to have indexed. So we hit continue. So it's going to try to verify our property. And so we need to verify our ownership. Now, typically, this is different than using a custom domain because on a custom domain, you have the domain registrar and access to DNS, which you can use to verify ownership. But how do you do this verification process without a custom domain name like that, without those methods? Well it does give us several methods here and as far as I'm concerned the, the only viable method is Google Analytics so we're gonna go ahead and hit um, we can't have verify yet we haven't installed analytics on our site so in another tab we're gonna open Google Analytics we're gonna go ahead and get started today okay and you'll have to create a new account we'll call this ready um, go ahead and leave all those things on. We'll hit OK. Again, call this our ready site. We'll hit next. We'll say it has to do with business. It's small. We're going to get baseline reports. Those are always good. And we're going to accept the terms. So our this is you know, the process for set up, setting up analytics for any property. And you're going to want to do so whether you want to verify it through a custom domain or just get your website up and running with, with analytics and start gathering that data, being able to analyze it. So we're gonna, we have a website, of course. And here's where I'll plug in that URL that I still have copied on my clipboard. I'll take off the HTTPS. I'll take off home. I'll give it a name. And I'll hit create the data stream. Now when you do this, it may delay for a moment as it gives you some sample installation instructions, but we just want the measurement ID. Because the measurement ID 
is what you will come back to your Google site, you'll go to the settings, you'll go to analytics, and you'll just plug that in right here. And then just click off and it'll give you a notification analytics is active. So now that you have analytics installed, basically there's a link between your Google account and Google sites, and now we're gonna link in Google Search Console. So we're gonna come back here to our Google Search Console tab, and we're ready to say we're using our Google Analytics account and it is linked already with this specific property. So we hit verify. Great, we verified ownership. This should be the screen you see, and we're gonna to go to the property now, our end goal in this whole process is to say uh, to Google to submit our URLs for inspection. So if your web pages are, are not already indexed, you can use uh, URL inspection, plug that in here, and you can um, request that Google you know, index your home page, your about page, your X, Y, and Z page so that it is uh, displayed in Google search results. So this is the whole process of you know, getting your Google site published, launched public, verifying it, setting it up with analytics, and then having Search Console, which is also its own uh, database of useful information as a webmaster. And so you're going to have to be familiar with these tools. Uh, I recommend that you are. Um, but you know this is the foundation for getting your website, your Google site, on a sites.google.com uh, free URL, free domain, up and running. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Again, uh, this is Kyle with Kirksel Web Design. I have other videos about Google Analytics. I have a video about why your Google site might not be indexed. You know, it's not a guarantee when you submit or request that it is indexed. So what, are you, what can increase your uh, odds and chances of being indexed? and added to search results. How can you SEO your site? So I've covered these topics before, and um, so check out my other videos and subscribe, and I will uh, see you on the next video. Goodbye.